Folks, Pastor Rocky Branch, hope you're doing great today. Well, you know, the Bible says in the book of Daniel, the story of Daniel and the lion's den. And this story is very challenging for a number of reasons. But before we get to the lion's den, we have to deal with Daniel and his position with the king and what he did and how that he stood. You know, the scripture is very clear that Daniel had been praying on a regular basis and it wasn't anything new to him because the laws changed. Now, of course, there was envy and there was personal persecution against him that caused these laws to change because the Bible says they could find nothing against him as they tried to examine and find something wrong with Daniel. That was the people that were in the king's court that were against him because Daniel had favor with God and God made him have favor with man. And, you know, Daniel was used to praying. I mean, it wasn't anything that he started because the decree was passed and the law was changed. That, that didn't make Daniel start. He was doing it anyway. Well, we've just come through some midterm elections and we have some uh, questions about a number of things. We have some challenges going on with our president's race in 2016 and people are wondered about uh, the church. They're wondered about Christian stances. They're wondered about what are we going to do. They're wondering about how life is going to be and I say to you, according to the Word of God, why change? If you have been doing, if I have been doing, like Daniel did, why would there be reason to change? Daniel didn't change. He had been doing it the whole time. Now let me ask you that this morning. Have you been doing what God has asked you to do the whole time? That's when new challenges come to us. We still do what God said. We don't change. Even though the world changes and people change, well, the standards of the book well, they just don't change. So, <clears throat> so many times, <clears throat> excuse me, so many times people get worried when they deal with issues of change because they say, what's going to happen here? What's going to happen there? Don't know what's going to take place. Well, listen, if you're doing what God has asked you and told you to do, I got my foot hung here, hang on. If you're doing what God has asked you to do and you're already performing what God asked you to perform, why change? It doesn't matter what the law says. doesn't matter what anybody else says. doesn't matter what friends or neighbors or family say. I have to do thus saith the Lord. And that's what Daniel did. When Daniel had the decree signed and the audience of the king was given, now you need to understand this principle. Daniel play, uh, prayed three times a day. He prayed in the morning, midday, and at night. And Daniel, in the process of this decree coming before the king, which was normally at midday when the audience of the king was at midday. Now, you need to get this. Daniel prayed three times a day, morning, noon, and evening. And when this decree came to the king, it came to the king at the regular time when people had an audience for the king, which was normally in the middle of the day. When this decree was signed and Daniel knew it was signed, it was his time to pray. And he did not alter from his time to pray. He was faithful in his prayer. No matter what the king's decree said or anyone else said, Daniel was doing what he normally did because he normally did what God said and he did it with all faithfulness. Let me ask you today, are you doing what God says no matter what others are doing? No matter the challenges of life, no matter what you're faced with, are you doing what God would have you do. Well, Daniel did that. His trip for his obedience was a trip to the lion's den. And they threw him in. The king didn't want to do this, but king had signed his, his name on the decree. And Daniel's next trip was to a place for the evening that he would have been praying, but he was now in the lion's den. And there God took care of him because he was faithful. Please hear me. God wants to help you, and God loves you. Prayer is not as the Pharisees prayed in Matthew 6, when they stand out in the street corners and in the city square, and they let everybody hear their oritating prayers. That's not prayer. Prayer is when you find yourself getting alone with God. Nobody sees that. But when challenges come, God provides you the mercy and grace to deal with it. Let me encourage you today to make sure that you don't let man, family, friend, or foe dictate your life. Let it be a godly life. 
And well, if you do that, God will bless you for it. God bless you. We love you. And goodbye.